Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and I wanted to um, basically talk about something that I've seen three or four messages of people a little um, kind of wondering a little lost on um, some of the uh, things we've been talking about. So to put things straight about uh, what they are. So first of all, we talk a lot about uh, Qualcomm and the Snapdragon X series. So what's that? So Qualcomm is a chip maker. They make a lot of chips for phones right now. Um, there's a good chance that their smartphone you have probably has a Qualcomm chip in it. And these are ARM-based processors. So they make chips. Qualcomm makes chips. And the Snapdragon X Elite, um, somebody was asking, where could I get that PC? Um, it's not a PC or anything. It's a series of uh, processors. So, for example, uh, Intel had its Pentium chips and Intel Core chips and so on. These are all brand names of different CPUs that they make. The Snapdragon is a series of CPUs from Qualcomm and the X Elite is an advanced one, the newest one that they have uh, with the X Pro. So these are chips and CPUs. But where can you get them? If you buy a PC, that's where uh, it's simply going to your favorite manufacturer. Every PC maker, and yes, I know that some of the PC makers that you see here don't do PCs anymore. This is an old picture. But um, like Lenovo, uh, HP, um, Acer, and so on will all be making PCs that have those Qualcomm Snapdragon chips in them. So it's something that every PC maker almost is actually jumping on board. Uh, even Microsoft's new Surface line of devices has the new Snapdragon X Elite and X Pro chips from Qualcomm in them. So you don't search for a Qualcomm or for a Snapdragon laptop, you're searching for, you go to, to check out your laptops, whatever laptop you're looking at or whatever PC maker, and there you will see that some of them will actually show a sticker that says it has the latest Snapdragon X Elite or X Pro chips in them. So it's a regular manufacturers that you'll go to, but they'll have those new CPUs which are different from Intel and AMD, uh, but that will actually have you do anything you want like before, even though it's an ARM architecture, Windows will have emulation to uh, actually have everything x64 work within that PC. So that's the way it is. Hope this clarifies some of the um, PC talk that we do that sometimes uh, we forget that you know we're we have a lot of, of users also that need to be guided into what all of it is and hope that it helps out if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching